What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today I've got for you guys some more brand new multiplayer gameplay. This is going to be footage of the brand new XR2, the new patch version, so you can see how it actually functions in comparison to the old version, which you would have seen on my channel and all around YouTube. Probably what used to be one of the best weapons in Black Ops 3 and now it's a very patch version. You can see right there when I just got completely melted, uh, this is my first ever time using the new weapon, so I was very confused. I put on the weapon, I sat down at Gamescom, and this is like, I think my second ever game playing, and I thought, right, I'm gonna go and like use this weapon, gonna get some good gameplays, and then when I started shooting it, I noticed there was a massive, massive delay in between shots. It was really weird, and I was confused, and I noticed they had patched this weapon. So this kind of example of just how the weapon can change, I'm gonna leave in a lot of the deaths, so this gameplay is gonna show me losing a lot of gunfights. Normally I cut out all the deaths and all the boring parts so you can just see the highlights and all the good stuff but in this gameplay i definitely want to show you guys some of the worst parts and how i lose against the m8 just kind of showing how this weapon is no longer the best weapon it used to be if you haven't seen yesterday's video i made i'll link it in the description and on screen right now we've got some new gameplay of the beta build in the form of a trailer and also got a look at two brand new specialist characters one of them is like a ninja another one's like this character that gets extra armor and a grenade launcher crazy stuff definitely check that video i'll link in the description for a look at those two specialist characters but in this video we're going to take a look at the new XR2. It's still definitely usable. I'm not going to say this is the worst weapon in the game. You can still do okay with it, and you'll see some clips in this gameplay of me doing okay with it. Going, uh, I think, like a five kill streak. I go in a couple little uh, streaks with it, but there was someone on the other team who's using an M8, of course, the uh, M8A7, and they were just completely destroying me. I think I lost every single gunfight against them, and that is definitely the new dominant weapon. But it just goes to show how pretty much anything in this game can and will change towards the builds. And of course, as we get closer to the launch of the game, they're going to be patching things, going to be changing things. This is pretty much the reason why they let us play at events and why there's going to be a beta so that we can give them feedback. If the game uh, like E3 was to launch, then the XR2 would just be like the most broken weapon in the game. As you probably remember, you might have seen the gameplay video that I uploaded on my channel. Uh, it just completely destroyed people. There was pretty much no delay within the burst. And I actually had rapid fire on this as well. Like I've completely optimized this weapon. I'm using rapid fire and using like grip and foregrip and quick draw and all the stuff. Uh, mainly for rapid fire, that's the thing that makes the biggest difference. It allows you to shoot each burst a little bit quicker. But even with rapid fire, the burst come out really slowly. I'd really hate to see this weapon without rapid fire, to be honest. I bet it's even worse. But uh, you can see there's a massive, massive delay in the burst. If you watch the gameplay, I'll uh, link in the description. If you watch the gameplay of the uh, Mothership, which is on my channel, you'll see just how quickly this weapon fires with rapid fire. And you can see it melts people. But now they've added a little bit of a delay, so it's a little bit harder to use. And uh, you can see just almost every gunfight. There's someone using the Seraph character with the M8, and they just destroyed me in every single gunfight. So I think it's definitely usable against pretty much most other weapons. But if you're against someone with an M8, you're probably going to get melted. Now, I'm not sure whether this will be a similar build to the M8. Uh, beta of course because gamescom was an updated build but i'm pretty sure there's going to be a slight different to the beta build so i'm not sure whether the m8 will be the best weapon in the beta build i guess we are gonna have to find out of course to see what is the best weapon in that build but like i've said things are always going to be changing so what's probably the most overpowered weapon in the beta probably won't even be the most overpowered weapon in the full game and it's really good of course that we're having this beta because that allows uh, all the like the bugs and all the op stuff and all these little things that need to be changed they can be fixed straight away instead of having that first launch week of black ops 3 where things are broken and things need patching because there's always those weapons that are just a little bit too powerful but hopefully those can get ironed out before the launch of the game and of course the beta is going to make Black Ops 3 a better game because it's like a week of feedback the developers can take and they can like build on the game and they can fix things that need to be fixed they can buff things that are too weak and uh, stuff like that so it's going to be good to see kind of what effect the beta has on the game and it's going to be really good to see the general public because normally obviously YouTubers and like press people are the only people that get to play these games early but it's going to be good to see like literally millions of people get to play Black Ops Three, give their feedback, and uh, hopefully Treyarch can really take that information, that feedback, and build an even better game. It's going to be really cool to see. And uh, of course, we got that trailer recently, which gave us a little more information about what to expect in the beta. In that, we learned about two new specialist characters, which are going to be included. So I'm guessing the beta build is going to be slightly updated to the Gamescom build, which is what you're seeing here. So it's going to be slightly newer. And I'm not sure whether the M8 will be the best weapon. I'm kind of hoping the M8 isn't the best weapon in that build. It would be kind of boring because on the build that I played, honestly, the M8 was pretty much the only weapon you could use. Like, as you can see in this gameplay, anyone that wasn't using M8, I could do okay against, but when it came to like the XR2 versus the M8, two burst fire weapons, the M8 wins every single time. So I'm hoping that kind of changes. I'd like to see the beta a little bit more balanced. It did seem that all the assault rifles were a little bit slower to kill, so I'm definitely liking that. Like I've said before, I prefer games have a slightly longer kill time, so accuracy comes into play, and that's something that's definitely down to personal preference. Some people like longer kill times, and some people like slower. But yeah, the beta is definitely going to be a very, very important time for Black Ops 3. There's a ton of weapons in there. I believe like all but one assault rifle 
rifle is going to be in there and all but one SMG. I believe there's six out of the seven and five out of the six SMGs in there. At first I was a little bit confused thinking why there's so many weapons in there, but it's definitely going to be down to the balancing thing because they want to put all the weapons out there and they want to put nearly all the specialists out there so that everyone can use them so people can see which weapons are good, which weapons aren't good. And like I've said before, they're going to balance them and going to make things a little bit better. I was really surprised just how quickly they managed to nerf this thing like I was expecting it to be good. I didn't get to use the XR2 all that much during the uh, E3 when I got to play, but I did hear from a lot of people this weapon being ridiculously good, and I saw it myself of this weapon firing very fast. But like I've said, they patched it very, very quickly, and it's crazy how things can change. And uh, like I've said, nothing is really that solid in Black Ops 3 until the game obviously launches. That's when things are going to be a little bit more solidified. But at its current point, anything can change, anything can happen, and Treyarch are definitely not afraid to start nerfing things if they come a little bit strong, which makes me wonder whether they're going to nerf the M8, because the M8A1 was known as one of the best weapons in uh, Black Ops 2. I'm not sure whether many people would say it was overpowered. It was definitely a good weapon, a competitive one, along with the AR-94. That was good in Black Ops 2 as well. But uh, in Black Ops 3, I'm kind of expecting the M8A7 to remain to be pretty strong. I think they're going to nerf it slightly, but not by too much. I think they're going to want it to kind of shine through as that M8, the classic M8, which we remember from Black Ops 2. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Which weapons are you looking forward to trying out in the beta? Of course, we're not long away at all. And I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Of course, got more Black Ops 3 content right here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Drop a like rating on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.